The hive mind is hungry. Let's jump in and have a look at this High Fleet Leviathan Army Swarm. It's made up of loads of awesome models. Uh, we'll start with the humble Termagant and also Hormigant. Uh, there's quite a few of those in this force. We've got some Forge World Ripper Swarmers, which you don't see very often, which is quite nice to have them in this army. We've got some Warriors as well as part of the force. You can't have a Tyranid army without some Warriors. We've also got uh, a Turvigon, plus also a Horospex and then a Harpy. But to lead the force, we've got a Tyranid Prime and also a Parasite of more Trex. So a real nice selection of models for this army phase. Let's jump in and have a look at some of the models individually. So we're going to start with the Humble Ripper from this Tyranid Force. Uh, really great set of miniatures. Now this whole army project has been completed by Jeremy, one of the artists here at Siege. Um, and I do love what he's done on these Rippers. Uh, again, don't often see the four draw Rippers. They, they, they do really, really like the amount that are on the 40 mil base. There's absolutely loads on there, as you can see. And they're all sort of climbing over each other, clambering away to get at the enemy, which is awesome. But all the individual little teeth and everything are all fully painted and picked out. All the eyes, everything you could expect detail-wise have been done to a very high standard on these. And this is done at a bronze level. Again, we've got all the carapaces fully highlighted there, all the chitin areas of the carapace are all highlighted, all the claws, absolutely everything, all the sk uh, skin and flesh has been done super smoothly as well uh, and highlighted nice and subtly, which is just great. Uh, so that's one of these awesome Forge World Tyranid rip -out swarms. So next, let's have a look at the Gaunts from the Force, and there's quite a fair few of them in this army. You've got uh, two squads of Termagants armed with different weapons, Devourers and Flesh Borers, and then we've also got some Hormigants. So let's jump in and have a look at one of the Devourer-toting Termagants. Uh, really, really awesome model, obviously, with that Devourer, the larger weapon there, you can see. And I love the, the high contrast of the red to the purple, um, just that harmonious colour sort of relationship between the red and the purple with the uh, complementary accents of green on some of the nodes on the back of the, uh, the, the sort of uh, limbs here, which is quite cool. Uh, again, Jeremy's done a great job of highlighting all of these really sharply and refined. Uh, the skin, as I mentioned, is really, really smooth, obviously, with that real pale kind of uh, tone that's on there, just to contrast the, the, the sort of armoured plates on the top of the surface of the termagant. Um, again, I really do like the use of yellow on the eyes as well. Just a nice uh, complementary colour to the purple. It's very small in detail, but it really does stand out hugely due to the contrast and value of it. Uh, which is great. So that's just um, that's just one of the termagants with a uh, devourer. So next, let's have a look at another one of the termagants that's armed with a flesh borer. Again, real nice use of that red just on the main sort of body of the actual weapon and also on the claws as per the Leviathan scheme. Uh, but again, very much the same in the sense of the consistency and execution. All the, all the marks and striations on the on the armoured surfaces on the top of the carapace there looks looks great. Uh, we've also got really nice smooth skin as I mentioned, and you've got lovely sort of eye detail on that weapon. Obviously, a flesh borer still being an actual living creature. Feature. It's got its own little eye there as well, which is quite cool. You can see all the ammunition has been painted in a, a real subtle tone as well, just to work really well with the red. And you've got that rear section of the flesh bore just in a sort of more sinewy skin kind of colour as well, which is great. And even the uh, the sort of cutting panels here on top of the gun are also uh, uh, done with striations. So that's just one of these awesome flesh bore up wielding termagants. So next, let's have a look at a termagants. Probably one of my favourite infantry models from the Tyranid range. I just do absolutely love the, the close combat nature of Hormigants. Uh, again, here you can see this really awesome leaping kind of pose. This is one of the older Hormigant models as well, which I think is quite nice. Um, just really, really well executed here. Again, the same consistency from model to model as you'd expect with us here at Siege. And you've got that lovely high contrast green value just on those nodes on the, on the, on the limbs here as well, just to work with the desaturated red, which is just really nice. All the eyes, teeth and everything fully painted. Again, the eyes all painted in the yellow just to contrast those purple tones on the, on the model as well, which is just really nice. And that's one of the Hormigans. So let's have a look at the Warrior Prime from the Force, one of the HQ models. I do love a uh, commanding sort of Warrior model. Um, I think every Tyranid army should have Warriors of some form. And again, really, really cleanly executed. This model's been painted to silver level uh, with additional highlight stages and extra details added onto the model also. Uh, love the desaturated use of red for the weapons. I think that just works really well. And again, that's something that I do really love that's been done on these carapaces. It's a bit of extra red has been added here onto the rear of this uh, sort of Warrior Prime just to add a little bit of kind of like that reddish hue to the purple, which works really nicely. Again, you can see the use of green just on the nodes and sacks and things here on the arms. Again, high value contrast against the purple, which is just great um, but overall really well painted as i said this is the prime from the force we've also got some generic warriors also to go with them armed with the different weapons obviously as you can see here but really really well executed uh, as i mentioned you can see the additional highlight stages just on those carapace sections um, again really clean really nice well presented models and again all the little details like the eyes on the weapons are all fully painted again you've got the green of these nodules and sack things here just on the arms 
really high attention to detail and lots of sort of super clean painting that's been done on these warriors. So next, let's have a look at the mother of all of these gaunts. We've got a Turvigon in this force and an absolutely lovely model, um, really, really well painted here. Uh, the, the use of the, the red sort of for the spikes on the top of the carapace there, I do really like. He got those lovely sort of dark, desaturated red tones just on all the claws and everything. Um, as you can see, there's some just some gaunts just spawning from the front of the of the sack here, as you can see, which is really nice. One thing I do love that Jeremy's done is obviously certain nodules on this underbelly here, on this sort of like birthing sack. You can see there's like that greenish hue, uh, which just really adds a lot of color in, interest to those areas, as well as some of the veins and things all painted as well, which is just really nice. Again, super clean finish, really, really smooth execution, both on the flesh and also on all the armored areas of the carapaces. Um, again, all the teeth and everything all fully painted. The eye done with a really nice desaturated kind of yellowish tone as well, which I think just works really, really well. Um, but a really great model to have as a centerpiece uh, model for your army, especially when you've got that many infantry models that are coming from it. Um, and it's gonna be staying on the table for quite some time. It's so just a really awesome model. So next, let's have a look at the Parasite of Mortrex, which is one of the HQ models from the force. Again absolutely love this model. It's quite a new model that's been added to the Tyranid range um, and again very very predatory kind of pose which I just like as if it's about to pounce on somebody. Uh, I really love the use of the colour on the sinew between the bony crests of the wings. I think that use just high contrast again just it's got a reddish hue to it which just harmonises really nicely with the purple of the carapace and the red accents that are on the model for the claws and things. Um, same again, we've got like nodules and things painted with this green, uh, which just really works with the red areas and also the purple. Um, but again, you can see all the individual highlighting that's been done on these wings, which just looks absolutely lovely. Really sharp, high attention to detail and just high contrast as well. Uh, but that's the Parasite of Mortrex to lead this force. So next, let's have a look at this Horuspex. Uh, probably one of the scariest models from the Tyranid force on the table today. Uh, this All the different uh, sort of maws and claws and things are exploding from the front of the face on this one. It's just absolutely crazy. Um, really like the use of colour that's been used on this. And this has been painted to our gold level, uh, which has even more additional highlight stages and tonal variants, plus also additional works done to the, the details of the model. Um, love the use of the highlighting stages on this red, especially going from a really dark, rich, deep red all the way up through to a brightest kind of like orangey tone on some of the highest points of the highlighting, which just looks really great. As you can see, the carapace has got even more highlight stages and attention added to it to really add a lot of depth to it, which I think works really nicely on the model. Same with the skin. We've got a really super smooth finish across all the skin and every single little bit of detail on that skinned area has all got multiple highlight stages plus also re recess shading as well. Again, you've got all the eyes painted with lots of highlight stages up to that bright yellow, which you, you really works with the purple. Uh, and again, you can see the lovely sort of pinkish kind of sinew here just on the moor as well, which is just great. Uh, lots of colours going on there that all work and harmonise really well together and contrast really nicely. Uh, but that's this awesome, awesome Horuspex model uh, that's extremely deadly on the tabletop. And finally, let's have a look at the Harpy from this army. Uh, really awesome fly model from the Tyranid range. Um, let's start with these really, really awesome wings. And you can see the amount of time and attention that's been lavished on all the different parts of this sinew here between the bony crests of the wing structure. Lots and lots and lots of highlight stages. Again, this is painted to our gold level. Really well done uh, with lots of points of interest and lots of attention on all the carapace individuals, sort of like striations. I've got multiple highlight stages. Um, as we go around here, you can see the use of colour on the weapons. Again, you can see that two-tone split of that sort of like uh, tan sign kind of colour with the red as well all the way on the highlighting up to like an orange on the red as well which just looks really nice and again you can see the eyes and things all fully painted with a yellow on this miniature i love the use of splitting out the uh, the skin here to, from this sort of tan color up to the sort of lighter flesh area as well which is just great but every little bit of the detail on this model has been given multiple highlight stages and really pushed up to our gold level which is just a, a truly stunning piece to have as a centerpiece miniature for your army uh, so that's the harpy from this force i do hope that you like it so if you like this army and would like to get a commission by us here at Siege Studios, then all you need to do is head to the description of this video where there's a link to our contact form on our website. Complete that to get a quote back from us for your commission. Really appreciate you watching the video. I do hope you've liked all of the contents of this video and the exquisite miniatures that have been within it. Drop us a like and also subscribe to the channel so you can keep up to date with all of the things that we do. And you'll be notified when new videos do go up on the channel. A massive thank you from all the team here at Siege and myself for watching. I'll see you very soon on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.